Hi, I'm Mark. I work in the Wireless Networking Research Group and my work is focused on low latency Wi-Fi. Uh, I work on Wi-Fi networks and on reducing the transmission time of packets in the network. Historically, Wi-Fi has focused on high throughput, so basically on transmitting a lot of data. But now there are new applications such as virtual reality, live streaming and cloud gaming, which have strict delay requirements that need to be met. And Wi-Fi is not prepared for this kind of thing. It's not only about this kind of applications, but it's about the fact that a network can have a lot of users in them. We have a lot of devices nowadays that can connect to a Wi-Fi network. We have smartphones, smartwatches, laptops, tablets, etc. And this can make it very complicated to find transmission opportunities to transmit. So uh, here we show an example of one of our tests in the 5 GHz band in which we show the occupation across all the channels. Uh, white means that the channel is busy, black means that the channel is empty, and as you can see, uh, there's a lot of white. So basically, it's complicated to find an, a transmission opportunity. And what we are doing right now is studying the use of using multiple radio interfaces to transmit opportunistically in the holes in the spectrum. This is, gives us a lot of opportunities. It means that we can transmit across multiple channels at the same time, but also across multiple bands. We can transmit on the 2.4 GHz band, on the 5 GHz band, on the 6 GHz band. And we can separate the control and data plane. We can even use machine learning to split the traffic more efficiently across the interfaces. And hopefully this will lead to uh, reducing the delay in a manner that allows us to give guarantees to the users about how much delay they can expect. Finally, I show you here some of our results of our current simulations of one interface against two interfaces. And the results that you can see here with the dashed line is that we can reduce the delay a lot uh, for crowded scenarios in the 32 megabits case, but also in regular scenarios where everything works properly, we can also reduce the delay there. So hopefully we can give a better service overall. And our main objective with all this research is that future network design considers delay as well as throughput instead of just throughput. And that's about it for me. Thank you for watching.